Hi and welcome to another YouTube video. In this video I want to go through the simplicity of upgrading firmware on a nimble storage array. So let's jump right into it. So if we fire up a browser and enter the IP address of the array log in accept the warning message head over to administration and software and from here we can see the current version of software that's installed any previous installed versions of software as you can see nothing here in our case and anything that's pre-downloaded ready to be installed again nothing here in our case so let's jump over to the download button and here you can see there's only one version of firmware that's listed for our array. So let's click on the radio button and hit download. Now we've just got to wait for this basically to download, which may take some time depending on your internet connection. So the download is completed and as you can see now we've got the update button that's now available. So it's as simple as just clicking on the update. It's going away and doing some checks on, on the controllers to make sure it's available to upgrade because during this process what happens it will do a controller update on the standby controller then fail over to that controller and then do a control update on what was the active controller. So you're in a state where whatever was active at the end of this process will now be in standby. So simply read down through the EULA. Put a tick in the box and agree with the EULA. And as you can see, you get a message saying it will take several minutes to update. Now, obviously, depending on what the ver current version of firmware that you're on and the version of firmware going up to will depend on the time it takes. But from my experience, it's approximately 30 minutes, 15 minutes per controller, thereabouts. And as you can see now, we it's showing you some, some information on what's happening. And some of these steps may get skipped or it may update in that step and go through that process. So don't be worried if you see something that stipulates that it's up to date on, on, on that version of firmware and it doesn't need to do that bit. Just let it go through the motions. Now, as you can see, we've got this nasty area that comes up that says uh, a web to, uh, the web service is very slow or unreachable. This is normal, don't worry when you see that, I know it looks severe, but you can ignore that. And as you can see it's actually timed out, so I've hit the, the reload button and as it's upgrading controllers it's actually timed out, but again, don't don't panic, the underlying services will still be running and it will still be serving storage disks out to hosts, so there's, there's no need to worry. Now as you can see, the firmware is done, so the current version has now been upgraded, you can now see the previous version, and if I click on download, again, there's now nothing available, so we're up to date with the latest version of firmware. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. 